Hope you all had a great weekend. Of course, it's never long enough, but here we are. Another Monday, another week just beginning. You are taking the truck. We're going to meet up with Tara and Alan at the JCC in Westchester. Okay. Bomb threat today. Uh, I'm going to give you a disc. It contains a package she did last week and some shopper video and her coat. So today is going to be a little bit different than other days. I am just a truck op. Looks like we're going to be using the satellite dish, I guess. Hey, I just wanted to verify. Is this going to be a satellite shot or just a backpack? We're going to need you. Backpack or a live shot. If I'm here as a truck op, you know, the backpack is literally all I came out here to do was press a button. The backpack is exceedingly easy, but if you guys want to book a window, we can. I certainly have no qualms about it. happened again, a fresh round of threats against the Jewish community, only this time striking far too close to home. So what happens today that is different from other days when I'm a photog is Tara and Alan is the crew that gathered all the elements and cut together the package for the 430. My job is to make sure that the package gets sent successfully and also monitor the satellite shot to make sure there are no problems on our end. Hey, I'm looking to power up to uh, G17 19K slot one. Okay, clean is up. Modulated, please. Modulating. Getting a green light, just waiting for picture. There we go. Picture looks good. Sounds good too. other phoned in bomb threats and not Scott, only across New York but across the country threats, today the call came in York, here in the 10 o'clock hour today, and JCC officials are telling me that they sprinted into JCC action immediately evacuating everyone inside the building including 95 very young toddlers one of the only downsides to being a truck up is you get here you set up all this stuff and then it's up to you to put it all back